वेलकम एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर शंभू यादव वर्किंग एज अ रिसर्च साइंटिस्ट एट हार्वर्ड मेडिकल स्कूल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू कंट्रोल योर माइंड एंड रिड्यूस एंजाइटी इन जस्ट फ्यू सेकेंड वेदर यू आर स्ट्रेस बिफोर अ मीटिंग और एग्जाम डीलिंग विद प्रेसर एट वर्क और जस्ट नीड टू रिलैक्स दिस वन टेक्निक कैन हेल्प यू रीगेन कंट्रोल एंड दैट इज कॉल फिजियोलॉजिकल साइन and it work like a magic so stay with me and i will show you exactly how it works and how you can use it any time anywhere to find instant relief so let's get started the art of managing stress and anxiety in our fast paced world has become increasingly crucial and among the countless technique available one stand out for its simplicity effectiveness and scientific backing and that is physiological side this powerful breathing technique rooted in our body natural mechanism offer a quick and accessible way to calm our nervous system and regain composure in moment of heightened stress to truly appreciate the significance of the physiological side we must first understand the complex dance between our body stress response and its counterpart that is relaxation responses when we encounter a stressful situation our sympathetic nervous system kick into high gear and triggering well known fight or flight responses our heart rate increases our breath become narrow and rapid and we may experience the rush of adrenaline and this response we crucial for survival in truly dangerous situation that can be overwhelming and counterproductive in many of life every day of the challenges Conversely the parasympathetic nervous system that is responsible for our rest and digest state promoting relaxation and recovery and the key of managing stress effectively lies in our ability to activate this system and that will counterbalance the effect of sympathetic nervous system and this is where the physiological side comes into the play and offering a direct pathway to engage the parasympathetic nervous system and bring about a state of calm and the concept of physiological sai was first discovered in 1930s but its full potential and neurological underpinning have been explored more recently by researchers such as Jack Feldman and the Mark Karsno and their work has shed light on how this simple breathing pattern can have profound effect on our physiological and emotional state at it the physiological side consists of the double inhale followed by the prolonged exhale and this pattern might seems uh, arbitrary at the first glance but is actually a brilliant hack of our respiratory system and so to understand why it's effective we need to delve into the mechanics of the breathing and its relationship with our cardiovascular system you know our lungs are composed of million of tiny air sac called alveoli we are the crucial exchange of oxygen and the carbon dioxide takes place and under stress these alveoli can collapse reduce the efficiency of our breathing and contribute to build of the carbon dioxide in our blood stream and the double inhale of the physiological side serves to rain flat these collapsed alveoli immediately improving our oxygen intake the long exhale that follow is equally important it allow for the efficient expulsion of excess carbon dioxide from our system and this is crucial because elevated level of carbon dioxide in our blood can contribute feeling of anxiety and agitation by expelling this excess we are literally breathing out our stress and we but the benefit of physiological side go beyond just improving our breathing efficiency and this breathing pattern has a direct and immediate impact on our heart rate 
and thanks to the fascinating interplay between our respiratory and cardiovascular system. And when we inhale, our diaphragm moves down and create more space in our chest cavity. And this increased space allow our heart to expand slightly, which in turn cause blood to flow through it more slowly. A group of neurons in heart that is called sinoatrial node (SA node) detect in the change in blood flow and send a signal to the brain. And in response, the brain send a message back to speed up the heart rate. Conversely, when we exhale, the opposite occur. The diaphragm moves upward, reducing a space in chest cavity, and this causes the heart to become slightly smaller and blood flows through it more quickly. And the sinoatrial nodes detects this increased flow rate and signal sent to the brain, which then send a message to slow down the heart rate. And this relationship between the breathing and heart rate is known as respiratory sinus arrhythmia. And it's a key player in the effectiveness of the physiological side. By performing a long exhale, we are directly triggering a slowing of our heart rate, which turn in activate the parasympathetic nervous system and promote a state of relaxation. What makes the physiological side particularly appealing as a stress management tool is its accessibility and immediacy. Unlike many other relaxation techniques that require a specific setting or extend practice, the physiological side can be performed anywhere at any time without drawing attention to oneself. Whether you are to give a presentation, sitting at tense meeting or dealing with a sudden bout of anxiety, you can discreetly use this technique to regain our composure. It's worth noting that the physiological side is not just a human invention or learning technique. It's a natural phenomenon observed in both humans and animals. You know, the baby and animal stink perform physiological side during sleep to regulate their carbon dioxide level and maintain optimal breathing. Adults often do it unconscious after the crying or during moment of relief. By consciously employing this technique, we are tapping into the built-in mechanism that our body already know how to use it. We know the versatility of the physiological side extends beyond acute stress management. Regular practice of this technique can lead to improved overall stress resilience and emotional regulation. By performing ourselves with this tool, and use it consistently, we can train our nervous system to respond more effectively to a stress, potentially reduce the intensity and duration of our stress response over time. Moreover, the physiological side can serve a gateway for more extensive mindfulness and breathing practice. For those who find meditation or long breath work session challenging, the simplicity and immediate effect of the physiological side can provide an accessibility entry point, and it can help build awareness of the breath and its impact our emotional state, paving the way for more advanced practice. So my friend, the application of the physiological side extends far beyond individual stress management. It has potential uses in the various fields, including education, healthcare, and corporate wellness. Imagine classrooms where students are taught to be used this technique before exams, reducing test anxiety and potentially improving performance. Or consider its use in the healthcare setting, where the patients could employ it to manage pain or anxiety related medical procedures. So it's important to note that while the physiological side is a powerful tool, it's not a panacea for the all stress related issues. Chronic stress and the anxiety often require a multi-phase approach, potentially including therapy, lifestyle changes, and in some cases medication. However, the physiological side can be excellent complement to these approaches, providing immediate relief and 
सेंस ऑफ अर्जेंसी इन मैनेजिंग वन स्ट्रेस लेवल सो ब्यूटी ऑफ फिजोलॉजिकल साइज लाइज नॉट जस्ट इट्स इफेक्टिवनेस बट इन द सिंप्लिसिटी एंड एक्सेसिबिलिटी इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी स्पेशल इक्विपमेंट एक्सटेंसिव ट्रेनिंग और स्पेसिफिक इन्वायरमेंट इट्स ए टूल दैट एलवेज विद रेडी टू डिप्लॉय एट मोमेंट वंस इट नोटिस सो माई फ्रेंड द फिजोलॉजिकल साइ ऑल्सो सर्व एज ए पावरफुल रिमाइंडर ऑफ द बॉडी माइंड कनेक्शन इट्स डेमोस्ट्रेट इन द टेंजिबल वे हाउ आवर ब्रीदिंग कैन इन्फ्लुएंस आवर इमोशनल स्टेट एंड वाइस वर्सा and this awareness can be a stepping stone to greater bodily awareness and emotional intelligence a skill that are increasingly recognized as a crucial for overall well-being and success in various aspect of life in addition to its immediate calming effect regular practice of the physiological side may have longer term benefit for our respiratory system by fully inflating our lungs and efficiently expelling carbon dioxide we are giving our respiratory system a mini workout and over time this could potentially improve our overall lung function and breathing efficiency so my friend it's worth noting that while the basic technique of the physiological size simple there is a room for the personalization and refinement Some people may find that visualizing the breath moving through their body enhances the calming effect. Other might combine the technique with a calming mantra or affirmation. And the key is to experiment and find what works best for you while maintaining the core element of our double inhale and long exhale. So my friend as we look to the future the role of techniques like a physiological sai in the promoting mental health and well-being is likely to grow with increasing recognition of the importance of mental health and the ongoing search for the accessible effective stress management tools the physiological sai is stand out as a technique that meet many of these needs so my friend now i would like to conclude here the physiological sai represent a perfect blend of simplicity and scientific backing in realm of stress management it is a testament to the power of working with our body natural mechanism to promote well being by understanding and utilizing this technique we equip ourselves with a powerful tools to navigating the stressor of the modern life whether we are facing a high pressure work situation dealing with personal challenges or simply seeking a moment of calm in the busy day the physiological sai offer a path to greater emotional regulation and overall well being so the thank you for the watching and see you in the next video